architecting your website for streamlined navigation is difficult. Things must be organized and easy to find. A common element used for navigation is a sidebar. But if your sidebar displays all the options at once, it can be pretty overwhelming. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to build a sidebar with a nested submenu. This allows users to explore all the content of a site in a quick and intuitive way, all without navigating off the current page. Today, I've expanded my hiking blog with more hikes. So I've added a sidebar where my users can navigate to other options. Unfortunately, it's incredibly messy and hard to understand. All the hikes should not be immediately visible. And if I end up adding more hikes, the sidebar could quickly become longer than my page. I'm going to start bringing order to this chaos by nesting each of my hikes under their respective cities. To do this, I'll use the AMP nested menu component. Unlike most AMP components, this one does not need its own script. Instead, it must be used with the AMP sidebar component. So I'll use it by placing AMP nested menus opening tag under AMP sidebars opening tag. I'll set its layout to fill, then place AMP nested menus closing tag above AMP sidebars closing tag, wrapping all sidebar options inside of it and wrapping AMP sidebar around AMP nested menu. I then need to wrap each region set of hikes in a div tag and add the AMP nested submenu attribute to those divs. This groups the options so that they appear together in a submenu. To access each submenu, I need to add the AMP nested submenu open attribute to each of the city's H3 tags. This attribute informs AMP nested menu what elements users will interact with to reveal the submenu items. And now when I open the menu, the hikes are no longer listed, just the cities. And if I click on one like San Francisco, there, the hikes are nested inside of it. But I think this would look more organized if I nested all the cities in another submenu under hikes. To add another layer, I'll wrap all the cities in a div with that AMP nested submenu attribute. Then I'll give AMP nested submenu open to the hikes H2 tag. And now when I open the sidebar, we just see hikes. And after clicking that, the cities are available. And there. After clicking on a city, I can see the hikes for that city. But what if my user accidentally clicked into the wrong submenu? They can't just back out. This one is an easy fix. I just need to add an element that has the AMP nested submenu close attribute to each submenu grouping. And now my user can navigate all the way into the last nested submenu and back all the way out to the beginning. This looks great, but I'm going to do one more thing. Wrap everything clickable in unordered lists. This isn't required to be AMP valid, but it does improve accessibility, which is pretty important too. And there you have it. The basics to making a nested submenu in AMP. Thanks so much for watching.